welcome my dear learners for this course on engineering graphics in our module 5 we were discussing about isometric projection in today's class let us solve some isometric projection of solids moving on to our second problem on isometric projection it states that draw the isometric projection of hexagonal prism of side 30 mm and height 60 mm Whenever we are solving problems other than square or a rectangle, always enclose the laminate in a square or a rectangular box. Then transfer it to the isometric sheet. By using that, we can complete the sketch of the geometric projection of the solid. That is, first let us draw the front view and top view of hexagonal prism whose Side is 30 mm and height is 60 mm. First, let us draw the top view of hexagonal prism. As we all know, either we can rest the hexagon such a way that we will get corner on both sides, or we can rest the hexagon such a way that we will get edge on both sides. Whichever is convenient, we can do that. So let me take edge on either side as you all know the procedure to draw the hexagon let us draw a vertical line whose length is equal to the side length that is 30 millimeters so now taking this 30 millimeters as radius construct a circle I am drawing taking this 30 mm as radius measure the same length 30 mm and draw arcs at equal intervals now connect these arcs to get the required hexagon this completes the top view of the hexagonal prism. Construction what we have used circle should be very thin. Now take the projection and mark the axis. The height of the axis is given to us which is nothing but 60 millimeters. So therefore drawing 60 millimeters now draw the longer edges since this is prism the longer edges are of same dimension as axis and parallel to axis at the center also we have longer edges so therefore you cannot show the axis now connect the base and top face This completes the projection of front view and top view of the hexagonal prism. Show the dimension. Now, to construct the isometric projection of this hexagonal prism, enclose this top view in a rectangle. So, if I enclose, I will get the dimensions as I am getting this rectangular dimension as 60 mm cross 50 mm. So now construct an isometric projection of rectangle of dimension 60 mm cross 50 mm. That is Five boxes towards right side with a very thin line. And mark six boxes towards left with very thin line. 
Now drawing the parallel lines on either side, selecting the line inclined at an angle of 30 degree. And get this completes the isometric projection of the outer rectangle that is 60 mm cross 50 mm, which is nothing but 5 boxes cross 6 boxes. Now mark these two corners on a 60 mm side. So on a 60 mm side, I am getting these two corners at a distance of 15 mm from either side. So if I transfer to isometric sheet, I will get it at a distance of 1.5 boxes and 1.5 boxes from either side. Similarly, you transfer on six boxes side the current set 1.5 boxes and 1.5 boxes. Now you already know these two corners are at exact center of this 50 mm side, which is nothing but 25 mm and 25 mm, which means that I should mark 2.5 boxes and 2.5 boxes that is I am marking 2 point so this completes the transferring of all the 6 corners to the isometric sheet uh, don't join any corners you from all these 6 corners you mark the longer edges that is 60 mm in its true length. In the isometric sheet, I should choose 6 boxes. So, draw a very thin vertical lines of 6 boxes. I will get draw very thin lines. This completes drawing 6 longer edges to the dimension which is equal to 6 boxes in the isometric sheet. Now through the visual inspection you identify the visible edges that is visible bottom face edges, visible top face edges and visible longer edges. Top face is completely visible, so therefore, dark the top face connecting the corners. This completes the isometric projection of top face of the given hexagonal prism. Coming for the longer edges, I can see only one, two, three and four longer edges whereas these two longer edges are invisible. So therefore, dark only visible longer edges. So this completes the isometric projection of longer edges of this given hexagonal prism. Now coming for the bottom edges, the visible edges are edge number 1, edge number 2 and edge number 3. This completes the isometric projection of given hexagonal prism. Don't mark any angles or any dimensions or any invisible edges or hidden lines. Therefore, erase these constructions completely. 
so the final view will be this is the final view of this hexagonal prism in the isometric projection this is isometric This completes the problem number 2. Now moving on to our problem number 3. Problem number 3 states that draw the isometric projection of the hemisphere of radius 50 millimeters. In order to draw the isometric projection of hemisphere of radius 50 millimeters, the top face of the hemisphere is a circle. In our lecture 1, I have explained you people how to construct the isometric projection of circle by 4 centered method. Therefore, first you construct a circle in its isometric projection by using 4 center method. If I enclose the circle of diameter 30 millimeters, I will get a square of dimension 30 millimeters of side. So therefore, first you construct the isometric projection of square of side length 30 millimeters. If I do that, I will get selecting lines inclined at 30 degrees on either side draw a very smooth line which covers three boxes here also you select three boxes now draw the parallel lines Again choosing three boxes. This completes the isometric projection of square of side 30 millimeters. Each side is of three boxes in the isometric sheet. Now mark the center C1 and center C2. Now identify centers C3 and C4 that is draw the perpendicular bisector to the opposite edges from center C1 and also from center C2. So to draw the perpendicular bisector mark 1.5 boxes on all the sides and draw the perpendicular bisectors from center C1 and center C2. Thereby, I obtained center C3 and center C4. Now, using compass fixing at C1, connect the perpendicular by center drawn from C1 taking the length of the perpendicular bisector as radius. If I do that, I will get similarly you do from C2 connect the perpendicular bisectors drawn from C2 selecting the length of the perpendicular bisector as radius. Now join these two arcs from center C4 and C3. This completes the isometric projection of top face of the hemisphere whose radius is equal to ISO 15 millimeters. Now to draw the semicircle you should 
choose original dimension. Kindly make a note to draw the semicircle. You should choose original dimension. The true radius of this hemisphere is 15 millimeters. So therefore, select 15 millimeters true length using compass. Selecting 15 millimeters true length, keeping at the exact center of this square, construct the semicircle. Now, dark the visible arch or curves. So, top face is completely visible. So, dark the, dark the top face with a very thick line and also dark the semicircle which is completely visible. Now, erase the construction lines. If I erase the construction lines, I get this completes the isometric projection of hemisphere of radius 15 millimeters. For your reference, I show the true radius of this semicircle. Now, finally, moving on to our fourth problem, which states that draw the isometric projection of sphere of radius 15 millimeters. As I said, sphere is the special case in isometric projection. In isometric projection, also we will see the true dimension of the sphere. Therefore, just draw a circle of radius 15 millimeters in the isometric sheet. That is. Now, dark this circle. This completes the isometric projection of sphere of radius 15 millimeters. For your reference, I am showing the dimension, but we should not show any dimensions. Radius is true radius of 15 millimeters. This is the isometric projection of hexagonal prism of side length 30 millimeters and height 60 millimeters. This is the isometric projection of hemisphere of radius 15 millimeters. And finally, this is the isometric projection of sphere of radius 15 millimeters. Finally, if I draw this in an isometric sheet, it will look like this. This is the isometric projection of hexagonal prism asked in the question. This is the isometric projection of hemisphere asked in the question. And this is the isometric projection of sphere of radius 15 millimeters asked in the question. This completes our lecture 2. That's all from this lecture. Thank you.